Guys, welcome to a new fish tale. I'm at the border of Cook Inlet and there it's the Bering Sea. And here you'll find the most beautiful and most delicious sockeye salmon of the whole wide world. And today I'll show you how to make a gravat lux and lemon dill cream. A dish for six persons. So gravat lux is Norwegian for a traditional salmon dish. And actually what they did they, they dig a hole, they marinate salmon, put it in the hole, they bury it and they take it out some hours later. We are going to do it in a very easy way. Step one, start with the salmon. Turn your salmon fillet around so that the skin side is up. Every five centimeters you cut into the skin of the salmon that a little coin will fit in, not bigger than that. Later, when we marinate the salmon, the moisture can flow away. Next step. We use some plastic wrap. We cover the skin of the salmon, push on it. Because of the protein on the skin of the salmon, it will really fit very close. It's like a vacuum. And turn the salmon around again. Now we're going to use a pestle and a mortar. We use one tablespoon of black peppercorn, fennel seed, and one tablespoon of coriander seed. We're going to grind this roughly. Beautiful. So grind it gently but firm until it's still a little bit rough. This smells so good. So now we add salt and sugar. And three tablespoons of vodka. Mix this well. We use the zest of one lemon. I forgot my zester, so I should do it in the old fashioned way. Not happy with that, but the nearest village here is like 30 kilometers away. We add the lemon, all parsley. You only use the, the leaves of the parsley. And sometimes you need to relax here because this is an outstanding view. You almost never see. And look at the end there, you see the mountains. They're full of snow. We cut the parsley medium fine. We add this to the... It's going to rain, guys. This is also Alaska. We use half of the dill. If you do salmon and dill, make sure that the dill is not overwhelming your salmon. Just give it a, a touch of dill. We cut the dill semi-roughly again, like the parsley, and add this to the mixture. Oh, wow, look at this. Ready to make a... A beautiful mixture. You take your salmon. Make sure that it is well covered, that you almost see no salmon anymore. So now, you take another piece of film, cover it well, press on it, that there is a kind of vacuum. So now we take another platter and cover your salmon. You take anything you like, which is heavy weight. So this could be a pile of books or your mortar. And now we'll give the salmon eight hours to marinate in the fridge. So guys, let's check the result. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful, beautiful. So what I do right now is taking off the top foil here you see the liquid has come out, also from under the salmon where we've made the small cuts. So what I'll do right now is taking off with my fingers all the herbs, the lemon, coriander, pepper, fennel, because all these flavors have now infused into this beautiful salmon fillet. So this we take off for the beers. This is the forest. It's a very high population of bears, so we need to be careful. We make it a fast run right now. We rinse the salmon. It doesn't necessarily have to be like 100% clean. So now we're going to move this piece of salmon at home. Use your cutting board, but because I only have this right now, I use the back side of my platter because I'm going to slice the salmon afterwards this way. But first, first guys, we are going to Again, take the other tablespoon of fennel and your coriander seed. 
repeat the job what you've done yesterday or what I've done yesterday and this I mix really well together this will easily stick to the salmon I really like this dish because it's so easy but it looks fantastic together with the salmon I'll serve you cream with some dill so what I'll do I use like two tablespoons of sour cream add some lemon juice one teaspoon of mustard and I add some dill so guys I'm not using black pepper because already the salmon is infused with black pepper just a bit of salt is enough for me so now we use this knife to be honest guys this is not the easiest job but it's just about practicing you put your knife almost horizontal and you make smooth backwards and forwards movements and then you have your first slice of this beautiful piece of gravid lux. So this is the reason I use this flexible knife because as soon as you touch almost the skin, I can press on it and keep on going. So in this case, you will have this beautiful slice of gravid lux. Now it's time to add some sauce with it. A beautiful piece of lemon. And this is your gravid lux. Please leave your questions and comments in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe. You could serve it with toast if you like. I'm going to taste it this way. Wow, this is so delicious. Thank you, Cook Inlet. Thank you, Coho Beach. Thank you to the Chase Brothers who caught this beautiful piece of sockeye salmon. Thank you to Alaska for this amazing, amazing trip. And thank you for watching my show and hope to see you soon for another fresh fish tale.